Everybody, it's Mark out here at East Cape today. Got another 2012 Vantage behind me. This one's pretty sweet. Uh, it's like a bonefish gray, light gray setup. Uh, everything's black, powder coated, blackout package. Um, we'll start up here in the front. Let's talk about the trailer. Rambling trailer sitting underneath the galvanized paint over black. Uh, it's got the Fulton Jack, wench cover, spare tire, and I believe uh, it is a removable tongue. Uh, pretty cool trailer setup. Um, Minn Kota, 24 volt uh, system on the front uh, with a plug here. Uh, removable mount. Uh, next to it, he's got a cleat so we can tie off the thing, so uh, dock the boat, whatever. Um, little through roll here for the East Cape uh, stakeout system. Pops right through there, stakes out the boat. Pretty cool little setup. Uh, move it to the back or to the center of the boat, I should say. Free Marine push pull clips. Uh, again, the black uh, version to match the blackout package. Cool thing about these, they are removable. So if you want to take them off, get rid of the toe stubbers, you can do that. Uh, definitely a, a cool thing. Uh, these are new, the newer versions. Um, check them out. Uh, LED, the Morsi lights on the front for navigation lights. Uh, they are very bright and very cool. Um, coming up here, we've got C deck underneath the gunnels and on the pulling platform. Uh, this boat doesn't have a cast platform yet, but it will. And when it does, uh, we'll put some C deck on that too. Um, Rockford Fosgate speakers in the front bulkhead so you can hook that iPod system he has installed uh, and has the tunes on the water. Very cool setup. Center console. Uh, this center console is our standard tower center console. It does not have the jump seat or cooler in the front, uh, but what it does offer is a lot of room in the cockpit. Uh, that's why he chose this setup because he wanted that extra room uh, to put a bean bag in, to throw a cooler in, to do whatever. Just have the ability to take it in uh, or to put it in and take it out uh, based on what he's going to be doing. If he's fishing or if he's booze cruising or whatever, he has that option. Up here on the top, you can see he's got a Lowrance uh, HDS system, uh, trim tabs, his gauge, all the switches for all of his accessories. Um, pretty simplistic design up here going on. Keeps it uh, functional though. Uh, grab bars on both sides, powder coat of black to match along with a set of three rod holders, again, on each side. Um, you can see that these are cantered or angled out so that when you put these rods in there, those reels don't hit each other. So the, the one in the center is straight out, this one angles forward, this one angles to the rear. So pretty cool little design. As you can see, these bad boys sitting up here, uh, he opted to go with these seats for comfort when he's, uh, when he's riding out and his anglers. Um, this guy is probably gonna be fishing uh, for, you know, for leisure and for uh, tournaments. Uh, so he wanted to go fast and be comfortable while doing it. That's why he went with these seats. Each one of these seats are hard mounted to the hatches, um, but even at those speeds, sitting in those chairs, very comfortable. Um, moving to the back, you can see it's got a Pro XS 175 on it. Uh, it's a big motor uh, for this boat. Gets those speeds up there, like I just said. Uh, it's a really fast, solid ride. Um, you'll see it in the video, uh, pretty sweet. Uh, again, we've got the powder coated, powder coated platform two rod holders, one on each side uh, to match the rest of the blackout package, along with this black Merc that's sitting on the back. Uh, that looks like a eight foot power pole um, on the back there uh, because bigger boat, deep water. And it wants to, wants to stake out in those channels. These guys from Jacksonville, so you know how those Jacksonville uh, tides are, so you got some, some pretty deep water he wants to, uh, to stake out in and then obviously get up to the skinny and, and fish those grass, grassy areas. So uh, back in the back, he's also got another trolling motor bone back here. See, so he can take uh, his trolling motor off and, uh, and, and reposition it back here in the back. So when he's, you know, going through the snot, when his rough condition's out, that trolling motor's not sitting on the bow getting the crap beat out of it. I think that's it. Uh, we pretty much went over everything on this boat. It's a great setup. This guy's going to be super, super happy with this boat. I know I was when I ran it. I'm a little jealous. Um, not really, because I got one too. I think mine's better, but no, I'm kidding. Um, but it's still a very cool boat. Um, so anyway, uh, to the Roses, appreciate it. Uh, this is their second boat with us. Um, uh, second or third, I'm not sure. I think it's third second, but uh, either way, uh, thanks a bunch. And uh, if you don't know about Eastcape, you need to check us out. Peace.